What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Expedition Homestead. I hope you are having an incredible day. We are going to be unboxing and setting up this hydroponic center from Aircube because you know I love my plants and you know what I love even more? New systems to grow them in. So this Aircube is a six site bucket system. This is the brain controller module. And then this is the 25 gallon water reservoir that it uses to fill up uh, the hydroponics buckets. You can tell right here, as soon as I open it up, my son is so excited for this. <laughs> he is just ready to go. So he's gonna be my little helper for the day. Inside the bucket also is uh, the six air pruning felt containers, the uh, three quarter inch uh, plastic piping, and then all of the tees and fittings that you need. They're super easy to pop right into the bottom of these cubes. And right away, he knows what to do with them. He's gonna take them over. He saw the setup and I didn't even have to tell him what to do. He is ready to go. I think he's almost as excited as I am personally, if I were to tell you the truth. <laughs> but unfortunately, he's not quite strong enough to fit the tees in here, so I'll have to do that myself. So this is our very first one we got set up. I was very happy with how easy it was to get them up and going. So these are all three of them connected together on one side. And I can already tell that there's going to be plenty of tubing left over for the system. So if you want to uh, space out your plants more than I did, definitely that is not gonna be a problem whatsoever. You'll have plenty of tubing left over. So now we've got the brain controller set up with our intake pump and then our drain pump. So basically there's two pipes here. One of them is hooked up to a fill pump, which takes it from the reservoir right down there and then pumps it into the brain controller. And then there is this, this drain uh, pump, which takes it from here and puts it back into the reservoir again. So that's what the controller does is it controls whether it's filling or draining into this bucket here. And when this bucket gets filled up, just through the power of gravity, it spreads the water throughout the rest of these air cube containers. So we've got the water hooked up. It is time to fill up the reservoir for us. Luckily, I've got another hand here. My other little guy is going to help us out, fill this thing up. They are, they are absolutely having a blast. I mean, why wouldn't you? Whenever you get to play with water on the inside of the house, that is just an added bonus for the day. It's really cool to be able to have them by my side, learning and growing and having a fun time while they're doing it too. Just to have that quality time is such a blessing in my life and I'm super, super thankful that we're able to spend this time together doing these types of projects. While these two were busy filling up the reservoir, I got the air pruning felt bags in all of the containers. So that way we are ready for our last ingredient. Well, at least some of it. Uh, our good friend over at Port Fish in Port Washington here lent me or gave me some hydroton. So at least we can get the bacteria growing. We can get everything started here. We can get an active setup um, before it's fully fledged and ready to go. I just really wanted to start cycling the water through this stuff so we can get um, the foundational basis of it going. So again, my little guy, extremely fascinated with the system. We're gonna start filling it up and give it the very first test run to see how it goes. Obviously, before I leave this thing all alone, I wanna make sure that we don't have any leaks. I wanna make sure that the water's filling up to the appropriate levels where it needs to. It's not overflowing or it's not underfilling. That could also be an issue. So I just wanna make sure that everything is set up correctly. This whole system has been very easy to um, not only just read the instructions to tell how to set it up, but it's also been very easy to set up. So um, I'm very, very cool, very happy with it so far. 
filling up the water just fine. It, it goes pretty quick. Um, we set the gauges right here on the side. These little floats right here will set off the uh, relay system, telling it to switch from fill mode into drain mode once it gets to a certain height level. So it's kind of like set and forget. It'll just do its thing. <laughs> Little guy here, he loves it. He's having a great time. Um, it, it just kind of does its thing, which is really great. So I don't have to worry about it too much. Here we got some watercress from pork fish as well. So that's gonna be the very first thing that I'm gonna start growing in this cube. Figure might as well, since I have access to it. So we are, okay, here, we are full completely. And now it is going through and doing the drain cycle. So now it's switched pumps and it is, instead of pumping water in, it's pumping water out. We're gonna take a pause from our regularly scheduled program to talk about Convoy of Hope. Convoy of Hope is out there doing some incredible things and I've recently found it upon my heart to do the best that I can to increase their ability to change the world. When most people think of Convoy of Hope, they think of disaster relief funds, when typically that is actually only about one third of what they do. What interests me so much more is the fact that they have an incredible agriculture program that they've created and have to date trained over 16,000 farmers across the globe in malnourished, impoverished communities where they can't afford and have no ability to feed their own families and kids. Now, if that's not an incredible calling by God, I don't know what else is. This also comes on top of the fact that they feed about 500,000 people each and every day around the globe with the goal of reaching 1 million people every day by the year 2030. So with your support, just like mine and everybody else's around us, we can make that happen. We can feed these kids. We can feed these communities. You know about 3 million kids starve to death every single year from malnourishment. And that is a fact that I'm not about ready to just sit on my butt about. I think it's about time that we all take part as farmers, as growers, as gardeners, as people who love to grow food for our families, to help support other people around the world and right here in our own country as well. This is an incredible organization. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little video to watch. If you don't wanna watch the video, skip forward three minutes and I will see you there, but you've gotta check this out. It's incredible. When I pulled up my phone and looked at where the earthquake occurred, I knew that it was not going to be a good situation. Convoy of Hope is an organization that helps people who have been impacted by a disaster. So we responded thinking through not just the immediate relief, but long-term recovery. Throughout Convoy of Hope, everybody knows that we're going to be responding to the Nepali earthquake. There's this constant conversation that's taking place between the disaster response team, the global program team, and communication. Without collaboration, I think almost everything's a failure from the very beginning. Our goal in responding to a disaster is to serve alongside local leaders and with community members because that creates the greatest impact. Because of that collaboration, we're able to see who the key leaders are and we're able to see the gaps where people can utilize our strengths. We don't have the context of what life is like in that region, so we're reliant on learning. We were told we were gonna have a community meeting and the first group I was gonna meet was the leaders of the community. It was about 20 women. They wanted to learn. They wanted us to learn. They wanted their community to grow. Nothing was gonna stop them. 
They just needed a little help. It became clear that there would be opportunities to do a feeding program for kids and also to help with agriculture. Then we would start listening to them. What is it that you want to eat? What is it that you want to grow? You both learn and grow together because it is so collaborative and you're working to solve the problem that's there. We are trying to build resiliency. We want to work for a solution where a community is able to support itself again. When you look at the community today, they're economically stable, they're economically viable. That's just success, and it's success that's being owned by the community. All we did is we just helped fill the gaps. What started out of a disaster is now an amazing community of sustainable independence that everybody is looking at from the outside what can happen when people work together. So please keep them in mind. This is the first video that I mentioned them. I'm going to be mentioning Convoy of Hope and talking about them a lot more in my next videos. So stay tuned for more about that. Now let's get back to our program. All right, so currently it did switch over to the drain cycle. So this is how it works. It, it simply changes pumps. It goes from the fill pump to the drain pump. So now it's taking all of this water and putting it back into the reservoir. So it's gonna take that 25 gallons or 20 gallons-ish that it took out of the reservoir tank, the main tank. It put it into the grow bins and now it is pumping it all back up. So it seems like this gave us the perfect height for the maximum fill. So I'm very, very happy with that as well. I'm just beyond excited. So I'm just looking at all this stuff. I can't wait to start growing more stuff here in the basement. I am just beyond excited. We're going to start off with this watercress here. So let's tuck it back in there and get it ready to grow. So now I'm using this little screwdriver, hint, hint, that's a tip for you guys, uh, to set off these 15 minute flags. So that way it fills up my containers once every single hour. And um, this may vary depending on what you're growing. So then we gotta set the time to five o'clock here and we're good to go. Okay, so what I almost did on accident was I had this pump pressed all the way up against this relief here, which is telling it to drain, right? So you hear it, pump goes on, pump off. So that could not switch down. So the pump kept on going. I was really wondering why. So um, there, there's just a couple of things you gotta check up on and make sure that this isn't siphoning back into your pump after it's going. You've got the uh, relief valve put in there as directed as well. Um, and then just cycle it through, make sure everything is operating properly. Right now, it is, it, I am under the assumption that it is, it seems like it is, so I'm gonna check on it a couple of times tonight. I am so, so excited. Thanks so much for AirCube. Um, they sent this to me, they wanted me to give an honest review, and so this is my setup and unboxing video of it. Right now, everything works great. I'm super excited for it, and we are gonna be getting plants, more hydrogen and some fish in here eventually. So this is gonna be a full fledged aquaponic system. Yep, I can't just settle with uh, hydroponics. I gotta go aquaponics because that is the way to go. So we're growing some even more things, not only the plants for nutrition, but maybe we can get in some yellow perch or something like that in this little container. And eventually we will be upgrading to something bigger and badder than this, but for now, this is absolutely incredible. I've never had such a cool aquaponics slash hydroponics center ever before. We've got all the grow lights we need to bring them over here. So that is gonna be probably our next setup in the series of our air cube coverage. So as you guys know, the new motto here on the channel, we're providing sustenance, we're providing food, we're providing value and quality for you, the viewers, and me and my family and the community around me. So this air cube is definitely a great addition to the YouTube channel. I hope you can tell I'm super, super excited. I hope you are as well. If you enjoyed today's video, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and comment as always, and we'll see you in the next one.